Hi there and welcome to this day in history for July 30th. July 30th is the 211th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 212th in leap years with 154 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is acapella. <laughs> acapella comes to us from Italian. It means sung without instrumental accompaniment. Actually, in the manner of the chapel or in chapel style, it's the literal translation, but it means sung without instrumental accompaniment. I love a cappella music. And with that, we're gonna start in the year 762 when Baghdad was founded. I guess I knew it had been around for a while, but I never thought about just exactly when Baghdad, 762. Wonder if they have a big celebratory anniversary party like some places do, I don't know. Well, this is the birthday of Ming Dynasty Emperor Hong Ji, born July 30th, 1470. Born Zhu Ya Qing, the pregnancy of his mother had to be kept secret from his father's favorite concubine, Consort Wan, who had been unable to bear any surviving children of her own. In fact, if she learned of any royal pregnancies, Consort Wan would order them to be forcibly aborted and then those concubines to be eliminated. Somehow, Zhu Yuqing's mother, the abandoned Empress Wu, managed to carry him to term and raise him secretly until he was old enough to be introduced to his father, whereupon he was immediately made crown prince. His era name, Hongzhi, means great government. Interestingly, given the common phenomenon in that time of concubines, Hongzhi had only one empress and no concubines. This granted him the distinction of being one of the only monogamous emperors in Chinese history, the only other one being Emperor Fei, who had lived in the sixth century. Hongzhi only lived to the age of 34, and I was not able to find out exactly why he died so young, but he was well thought of in his life and afterwards as well. On July 30th, 1627, an earthquake in Italy killed about 5,000 people. This took place in Gargano, Italy, which is in the province of Foggia, which is located at just about exactly the Achilles heel on the boot of Italy. July 30th, 1729 marks the founding of Baltimore, Maryland. This is the birthday of English novelist and poet Emily Bronte, born July 30th. 1818. She lived to the age of 30. This is the birthday of Henry Ford, founder of the Ford Motor Company, born July 30th, 1863. He could certainly have a whole episode of his own, but maybe another time though. He lived to the age of 83. Oh my goodness, this is the birthday of baseball great Casey Stengel, born July 30th, 1890. Old number 37, was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1966, thanks to the Veterans Committee. He lived to the age of 85. This is the birthday of a fellow named Cyril Northcote Parkinson, born July 30th, 1909. He was a British naval historian and author of around 60 books. And in one of these books, he discussed what I believe he called Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. <laughs> Interesting thought experiment here, I think. Mr. Parkinson lived to the age of 83. On July 30th of 1932, Walt Disney's animated short Flowers and Trees premiered. This was the first cartoon short to use Technicolor and the first Academy Award-winning cartoon short. This is the birthday of 60s heartthrob Paul Anka, born July 30th, 1941. This is the birthday, what, what a day for birthdays, right? <laughs> this is the birthday of Austrian-American bodybuilder, actor, politician, and 38th governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, born July 30th, 1947. A joint resolution of the U.S. Congress was signed by President Eisenhower on July 30, 1956, 
authorizing the phrase, In God We Trust, as the national motto. July 30, 1962, the longest national highway in the world was officially opened. That would be the Trans-Canada Highway. This is the birthday of American chef, author, and producer Alton Brown, born July 30, 1962. On July 30, 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Social Security Act of 1965 into law, establishing Medicare and Medicaid. Jimmy Hoffa disappeared from a parking lot of a Detroit suburb restaurant on the afternoon of July 30, 1975, never to be seen or heard from again. The Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu gained its independence from France on July 30, 1980. Vanuatu is a volcanic archipelago lying northeast of Australia that I certainly would never have heard of except for the fact that they experience earthquakes on a fairly frequent basis and I get notifications from the Quake Feed app about it. So if you're going to go vacation in Vanuatu, be sure and take your quick gear with you. <laughs> On July 30th, 1981, as many as 50,000 demonstrators, mostly consisting of women and children, took to the streets to protest food ration shortages in communist Poland. The last old-style Volkswagen Beetle rolled off the assembly line in Mexico on July 30th, 2003. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Images are retrieved from Bing Images, either public domain or licensed free to use and share. I think the correct terminology is free to share and use. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from YouTube Music Library, and there's a link to his channel in the show notes. Thank Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, hold on now. Back it up. Did I say June or July? This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. Ooh, what was that? Don't eat while you're recording. <laughs>